All too often when we think about nutrition, we are bombarded with messages about what not to eat. Well, Diet Diva Targitis is here to show us how to focus on the positive of what's in some of our favorite foods so we can feel good about eating them. Good morning, Tara. Good morning. You're basically taking the guilt out of our favorite foods. Exactly, and some things that are commonly in your freezer or your pantry right now. Okay, starting with some cool new stuff from Healthy Choice. Absolutely, so there's a new study that had people replace either their cafeteria lunch or their eating out lunch with a healthy choice meal for 30 days without changing anything else they lost weight and they improved their overall diet really? quality and of course decreased their saturated fat and their sodium and their trans fat and all kinds of things well they're great because portion control and they exactly. really teach you how to how to eat the right portions and exactly. they've got this new baked line this new baked line now don't be afraid because when I first saw it I was like baked I, that's it. why I like it because it's microwave but it's the baked <laughs> yeah. flavor okay. that you get in some of those traditionally baked um, varieties so don't worry about the baked part it does still go you in the microwave. Still microwave it. I love it. Okay now this smells phenomenal. Popcorn yes. amazing. Yeah so this is another recent study that looked at whole grain consumption. Okay. So the dietary guidelines want us to have three ounces of whole grains a day. Less than five percent of Americans get that. You're kidding. So they did a study for three months and asked people to change nothing else in their diet but add 100 calories of popcorn twist my arm, okay. and what they found, surprisingly, is people increase their whole grain consumption. By eating so more popcorn. It's as easy as that. Over Redenbacher Smart Pop, 100 calories, so easy to do, and a lot of people don't realize that popcorn is a whole grain. Yeah, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> I, I mean, we, we definitely gil get guilty with the butter and the salt uh -huh. and all that stuff, so if we eat it plain like this, yep. we're doing And this is the well. Smart Pop, so it does have a butter flavor, but it just ah. doesn't have all those calories. Okay, canned tomatoes, I love these because they're easy. I can keep them in the pantry. Exactly, so another recent study found that they looked at what are the most commonly consumed vegetables and what are the highest antioxidant and as you can guess canned tomatoes were number one and so you're really you know canned tomatoes have that lycopene that heart healthy benefit so Hunts makes it so easy with lots of different varieties of canned tomatoes you've got the whole stewed you've got the chopped up stewed you've got the one with basil and all kinds oh, of flavors man. added I made a tortilla soup here this so is simple with chicken and tortilla put a little tortilla chips on top and avocado and you've got you know a meal right there and I know the way Hunts cans their tomatoes is also very very savvy exactly and and that's the thing about tomatoes and that's why I specify that it's canned tomatoes with the highest highest antioxidant content because you actually absorb absorb more of those antioxidants in the canning process because of the heat processing of tomatoes rather than raw now you can still eat your raw tomatoes Ooh, but yeah. those canned tomatoes are really good for you tomato fruit or vegetable it's a it's botanically a vegetable. <laughs> I mean botanically or a fruit. fruit. <laughs> but nutritionally we call it a vegetable. More info on our website, thedvz.com.